Hello, welcome to this lesson on playing golf with style. In this lesson, you'll learn all about proper golf etiquette that every beginner golfer should know about. Firstly, remember to stay aware of your gathering. While you don't have to rush your shots or run to your ball, it is critical to be prepared to hit when it's your turn. Realize when it's your turn, and limit your practice swings to one or two preceding hitting your ball. Golf is a social game, so talking with others in your gathering is normal, however not when somebody is going to take a shot. An excessive amount of talking during a shot can divert the individual and make them miss. Then they'll just get annoyed at you. So remember, be social, but don't overdo it. Another tip is to shout for. If there's an opportunity your ball will hit somebody. This is significant when you're beginning, in light of the fact that your shots may not always go where intended. Do not delay to shout, the minute you see your ball making a beeline for an individual, holler for. As loud as you can so they gaze upward and escape the path of the ball. A flying golf ball can genuinely harm an individual on the off chance that it hits them. So yelling for is just common courtesy, and to ensure that your golfing is not endangering others. Also, stay out of the way of shots. At the point when somebody is going to make a shot, remain off to the side a few yards away and somewhat behind them so as not to divert them. Try not to stand or stroll between an individual taking a shot and their target. Stay cautious of different players not in your gathering who are utilizing the course. Sometimes balls from different players will travel onto your hole, don't contact the ball and enable the individual to come get their ball themselves. Search for a lost ball for just 5 minutes. On the off chance that you can't discover a ball, go through just around 5 minutes scanning for it. From that point onward, take a one stroke punishment and do another shot from the area you shot from. To do this shot, Remain as close to where you were and drop the ball by holding it out at shoulder's length and dropping it to the ground. If you lose your ball from start, simply take the penalty stroke and come back to your tee to make the shot once more. Okay, let's discuss some more important tips on golf etiquette. Sometimes golfers let themselves go plus they don't adhere to the basic rules as we've discussed. Golf etiquette is among the most significant aspects of the game. There are a few items that golfers manage to ignore. Remember be quiet while others are hitting. Don't hit up on other golfers. Also, rake the sand after your shot. Fix your ball mark or divot on the green, fairway and tee box. And remember to also tally your scores at the next tee box and not the green. After your shot, you must fix your divot and in case you broke your tee then throw it away, don't just leader in the tee box. Tee boxes get chewed up quick so each player must hold their own. If you end up inside a sand trap you need to rake the sand after your shot to allow other golfers to have a better chance, even after that once you show up with your ball in the fairway, again you should fix your divot, and wait for a players in front of you. Once in the green one thing you should do is follow the journey to discover where your ball landed. There are many rules on the golf course which are not enforced by penalties. These rules are that relating to etiquette and respect for other golfers. They are mainly set up for safety and fairness. The game is simply part skill and decision. The real key to having the very best golf experience begins with the right etiquette. There exists nothing that ruins a game of golf like being embarrassed by not being totally sure of the rules. There are a few simple rules to follow along with that can be sure you look professional the full time you might be about the course. For example, you typically look smart by stretching ahead of the first hole. Every athlete is aware that he needs to warm up. The easiest way to start is to take advantage of the practice screen that may be usually located near to the clubhouse. This green consists of about 6 to 8 holes you could putt to. You can use your 9 iron or pitching wedge in the practice green to warm up your chipping capability if you feel confident enough. In case your ball should land in heavy grass, take a quick scan to discover your ball. The limit to discover a ball is a few minutes and must simply be exercised in the event you let a waiting party play through. As mentioned previously, any divots that are made must be replaced by the missing grass and even some sand from the bucket in the cart. By repairing your divot you are repairing the green and keeping it in great condition for those other golfers. If every golfer just does their own personal clear it is going to put the course in better condition. When reaching the green, the pin should remain until all people have also gotten in the green. The furthest from the hole putts until he or she is not the furthest, as well as ball that is potentially from the putter's path needs to be substituted with a marker. Also, it is considered rude to walk inside the path of some other golfer's putt since it may alter the path of the putt. You should also be familiar with your shadow while another golfer is putting. Make sure that your shadow will not fall inside the path of your putt as it is distracting. These important rules of golf etiquette goes quite a distance when everyone follows them properly, including beginner golfers. 
Following these simple rules is an easy way to make certain you may not look foolish in the golf course. Golf is a very common type of business meeting which could be costly without proper etiquette. For beginners especially, skill is not really as essential as etiquette in a sport like golf. Practice manners just like you would skill and you will exude the appearance of a true professional. Also, no lesson on style would be complete, if we didn't at least mention the golfer's wardrobe. Golf clothes can give you a unique and distinctive look, and you'll find a great selection at golfstoreblog.com. Okay, that concludes this lesson on how to play with style. In the next lesson, we'll discuss some final steps for winning. How to putt effectively. See you then.